Alrighty guys, welcome back to another single player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we were just, uh, we actually had a, a whole bunch of wood on the bench here. Uh, I think I went and sorted out these big fat guys here. Um, so what I did in between was I was testing out this forwarder, which has now uh, been released to patrons and uh, coming up to be released to people here pretty soon. Um, so what I did is I just loaded on the uh, logs on there just during this test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these long logs over to uh, this truck here. That's my plan. Probably start the truck so it's all loaded in. So I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're going to definitely give it a shot here. So yeah, this uh, forwarder has kind of been a bit of an adventure, trying to get it just working well, but so far so good, so... If I can just manage to balance it all out, it should be good. There we go. Feels really weird to load uh, from the side like this. Just bizarre. Just gotta fix this camera on this thing's a little funky too still. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of these in one shot, but uh, we can try. I'm gonna stuff them as high as I can get them for sure. Oops. Oh, oh, that's not good. Let's see here, let's get this one. Let's see what we can do with this mess that we've created. Wonder, uh, I'm just gonna pile them on there and then lock it. I don't really care right now. We're not being finessey here. I just want to get these off the forwarder, and then I'm gonna bring down the buck saw. I think what I'll do is I'll sell. Maybe not. Maybe I won't have to sell. I think I can leave the bunchers and stuff there. But yeah, I'll bring down the wheeled feller buncher and the buck saw. We're gonna do some, hopefully, some nice flat ground logging. I haven't decided whether we're going to do shorts or long, so we'll figure that out when we get there. I mean, I hope I can make all these fit. I'm certainly going to try anyway. Oh, jeez. Glitchy! It's a lot of weight. These logs are not light. And we're loading them all but ahead, so that'll make things interesting as well. Oops, 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 oops. I don't know how those other ones are going to do hanging off the side like that. I don't think it's honestly going to matter, but we're going to find out for sure. Oops. Oops. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. I don't think it's really gonna matter. I should probably be able to bring that. You know what we could do just just to keep things uh, nice and clean here? What we can do is just snip this one off just so we don't Sir Lancelot something to the ground. There we go. There we go. Like I said, not a beautiful load by any means, but should work. Oh, that one didn't lock, that's interesting. <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll just slip off there. Or maybe it'll just ride out the whole ride, I don't know. So I've been working on some interesting new things. Uh, I got a new bulldozer and that riser dangle loader dealio. That guy's ready to go pretty much. You'll see my mess when we get back to the mill here because <clears throat> I've been using this map kind of as a tester beta map for all the machines as well. Just because I got a bunch of wood cut and stuff processed, so. So yeah, working on lots of new stuff. I think the bulldozer is going to be a blast. It's pretty wild. The bulldozer is a funky piece of equipment. <clears throat> oh. It's got a gigantic uh, claw on the front for picking up logs. It's got a line skidder on the back. It's got the blade on the front, which pushes wood chips as well as little bits of wood. So 
this time we're going to take it easy on this 90 degree corner so we don't roll the damn truck like we did last time. We're learning now. There we go. Our tree, oh, our tree must have fell out somewhere. So, I don't know where I parked the bulldozer. It might be right in the way. Oh, no, it isn't. So, yeah, there's our bulldozer. That's probably out by the time this video comes out, but, yeah, she's a, a pretty neat toy, that one. I'll probably be using that a little bit more later on. Well, we can unload it, but I think I'm just going to go through the cell point here just to get this done. Just so it's done. And we can drop that trailer because we're going to need a low bed. Which I thought I had somewhere, but I guess not. I'll buy another one. Since we have all this money. Uh, shop. Where's the low bed? Oh, there's a little bit. We need that part, and we need that part. As you can see, it's kind of a mess here because I was screwing around with the uh, screwing around with the blade, pushing chips around on that bulldozer, testing it out. And there's my floating box, my or my white box with floating lights. I'm going to do an updated version of this truck here soon, too, I think. Make a more more gutty version. So what do we need to get on here? We need to get a, a wheel loader. Or not wheel loader. You know what I'm talking about. A uh, wheeled feller puncher. That's what's going to go on there. I could probably drive it out, but I bet you this will be way faster. Bad boy's got a lot of torque. I've never actually, don't think I've ever low bedded this thing, so hopefully it'll work. Oh yeah, she'll go. We'll just leave that extended, the heck with it. Oh, you know what'd be cool? If I could get that cat on there. I wonder if we could do both. Let's try it. Get the bulldozer on there as well. Maybe I'll just turn this guy around. Or if I could back it up onto that next bunk. Uh, let's try going the other way because that front piece is a little funky. We'll see how well it locks down. It's a hefty bugger, this thing. A big heavy bitch. So see the trailer's glitching out a little bit, so that's uh, interesting. Let's see if this bad boy will fit on there. Maybe the other way. Let's try the other way. I think it's the suspension on that uh, wheel loader, or yeah, the uh, on the uh, wheeled feller buncher. Just a little glitchy. All right, let's see if we can hook it up and get out of here. Oh, we got her. 
they both even locked down, didn't they? She's gonna be some tight driving here, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It's like everything's staying though, so that's good. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the bulldozer when I get down there, but well, we got one now, so that's cool. We can use it for my processor, I can stock logs against it. <laughs> Then I uh, probably just buy another truck. I think we'll see how well it does on this hill here. Yeah, I'll probably just buy another truck and uh, use that to bring the bucks up when I get her loaded there. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Well, that's a that's an accident and a half. Well, maybe we will just uh, sell that. Truck and trailer. Oops, garage. And we can walk them up the rest of the way. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. My god. At least one landed up, right? I'll have to walk this one over to the other thing to bump it over here. There we go. Well, I'll just get going for a nice leisurely drive in the bulldozer, so that'll be alright. Nice big claws on the front. Which I usually leave up, because then you can actually use your blade. But yeah, no, it's a fun little... Fun little machine. I don't think it has any problems going up any hills anywhere, so... This might take a little while. I'll just put it in autopilot. Then I can check my phone. Here's what lots of guys do in the bush. Let's put it in autopilot. Just every once in a while, you just gotta remember to make an adjustment so you don't drive off a cliff. I don't know exactly where I'm going yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Out of curiosity, how are we doing for time here? Oh, we got lots of time. We're doing well. Oops. Because we don't need roads, we'll just go up our own road. Man, it looks like a shitty spot to log, hey? Hand fall it and bring a yarder up here. That's what we should do. Right now, we're gonna do a wheeled feller buncher experience with the buck saw. And then after that, um,. We're probably going to do yarding and processing right on the right on the hill somewhere. This hill is actually not too bad. I could probably park the yarder right on that little edge right over there, and then pull all that wood up. That'd be kind of fun. Well, actually, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just park this here because I'm not going to need it at the other spot. Maybe we can use this as our uh, processor hold point. Park it right here. Or somewhere flattish. If there is such a place. Yeah, we'll just use that as our little dropping shorts in a pile there. So, what we can do is walk along with the processor and snip these really close ones right here. And then for the rest of it, I can just bring the yarder up and park it right on this edge and drag them up. And we can drop them right over here. And the processor can grab them right off the landing. Or we'll figure that out when we come to it. All right, let's find our Man, too many vehicles here. There it is. Yeah, 
so at least we got a couple project ideas anyway to uh, keep us entertained. Couple of new projects. So we got the wheel buncher buck saw project going on up over when we get up to the other side of this hill. And then we'll have the um, yarder project, which will be this whole hill is my plan. Just clean this whole hillside off. I think that'll be a pretty exciting little adventure. I guess we'll find out. There we go. Yeah, that'll be a neat little spot, I think. We'll try. We'll try our best to see what happens. That's more buncher territory down in there. This guy needs very, very flat ground, which I think we have quite a bit of over here, so. We got this forwarder, which I don't really need right now. But I guess we could use it to, uh do some stuff as well. See, it's pretty flat in here. Flat-ish, anyway. So this is where we're going to start with this buncher. I think just to save on our performance and memory, I'm going to get rid of a couple machines that we're not using right now. Uh, I wonder which processor that is. Hmm. Maybe I'll get rid of the buncher for now. Do we need it? Ah, fuck. We'll just leave them. I guess I'll be all right hanging out there. So now what we need is the buck saw. Bring that ugly bugger all the way up here. Oh, I guess we're probably going to need another truck because the other one crashed in a big fiery deathy experience. Truck, there we go. Where's the truck? Truck, truck, truck. It's right there. Don't need that tractor anymore. Ah, uh, you never know. We'll leave it for cleanup. Now this guy's pretty heavy, so we'll see how it goes here. <laughs> Front end's pretty, uh, pretty lifted up there. But we have to have this thing very heavy or else when you're logging, it's a pain in the butt. Well, you know, that's actually probably not true anymore. I should really look at the weights on this thing, because now that the log weights have changed, I probably don't need it as heavy as it is. I mean, I kind of like it heavy, because it feels like it's got some mass to it when you're hauling it, too. It's kind of fun. It's like the suspension's working pretty good, though. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a hop. Oh, no! Whoa. We're getting a little too much suspension on that one. Was starting to do that little bit of a hop, and then once it hops, it just kind of keeps going and going and going. There we go. So basically, we just got to bring this up to where that uh, wheeled feller buncher is. I gotta really run this hill because I don't know how heavy it's gonna be trying to drag it up this hill. So we're gonna give her a hell of a run. No stopping or we might not get going again. Oh, there we go. There we go, we got her. Beauty. All right, we made it. Hardest part of the day. So now we just need a nice flat spot to park this guy, which I think will be right down in this little gully right here. Yep, that looks good. Gonna park this guy up here just to kind of get it away from our sight here. I can just hang out on the hill. Eventually, we're gonna have to bring a logging truck to get rid of those too. All right. So, uh, time permitting, 
which we have about 10 minutes. Let's see how much uh, bunching we can get done here. Now, to be totally honest, this isn't really my style of uh, buncher, but... But we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna do, uh, let me think about this for a second. So we'll just go right to the left. So which way do we wanna drag them? We'll wanna drag them this way. So what we can do is just start dropping these right here just for now because we're so close we can do that. Now, I wouldn't say I'm 100% new with this thing, but definitely new-ish. So you're gonna get a little bit of rough bunching going on here. I'm definitely quicker with the other buncher, but I wanted to do something different, so here we go. Practice makes perfect, right? Let's see if I can do two trees. I kind of doubt it, but we can try. There's one. I know the other the other buncher I don't have a problem with, but this isn't the other buncher, so. Oh, there we go. Hey, they did too. And then once we get a little further out, we'll start skidding again here. But we're nice and close right now, so I don't think we gotta worry about it too much. Uh oh Well, that one's coming with us, whether it likes it or not, apparently. Huh. Oh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're a little ways back, so we can probably start dropping them just straight up. So, where are we going to drop them? I'm thinking right here is probably a good spot. I don't care how perfect these are. I might just use a... Well, I got the grapple skitter, I guess. It doesn't really matter. These drops don't have to be super duper accurate. So faster than the other buncher? I don't really think so. I think the other one's a little bit quicker, but I don't know. You can move a lot quicker with this one. I guess if you got really good with it, then you could probably really move them. But as it's just me in it, uh, probably not so great. And then we'll just drop some more right here. watch some wheel loader videos I don't actually know the uh, the process for these guys like if there's a better way to uh, use your piles or I'm always interested in utilizing and doing kind of a better way to produce it's fun to do all the different uh, logging styles as well you got that one kind of hung up in the tree there hey there we go. Oops. Was I in that view the whole time? No, I was in this view, wasn't I? Actually, I don't think so. I think I was in the other view, because this feels a lot easier. 
Uh, Mike, I knew I invented this camera angle for a reason. Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't the other view. This is way better. Now I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. But hey, that was to prove that I can do it from the other one. Haha. -ha. Totally. It's totally what I meant to do. I should have brought the line skitter. I really probably recommend using the line skitter. Oh shit. Trying to drop him uphill here. Not a good idea. Yeah, line skitter would probably be more useful. <laughs> now we're getting into the hilly stuff. We can clear the flat stuff with this thing, but the hill, I don't know. Oops, oh geez, I keep doing that. Got away on me there, you old bugger. Whoops. <laughs> Lost both trees. Not you not very good. I think I need my other buncher back. But at least you guys can say I tried this for a part of an episode. I'll finish the rest of this episode with this thing anyway, which is a whole four or five minutes, so. Oh my god. Okay, let's just keep this tree. So maybe just start a pile on this hill, kind of wacky like. A wacky like pile, how about that? That sounds pretty good, hey? This one. There we go. Pretty wild using a wheeled bunger. I don't know. I mean, it's neat, something different, but I don't know. I think I like my other one better. Not to mention the piles it's leaving are pretty ugly. I bet on flat, if you're just... Like, I'm going to make uh, my next map I'm going to be working on is that Georgia map, which I probably mentioned a hundred times by now. But that one, um, I'm going to be doing uh, very flat. The whole thing's going to be very flat. So I think that'll be uh, quite nice. Let's see if we can clean up some of these little guys here. Let's go for this one. And then let's go for this one. I think. Get it? There we go. Get it, got it, doubt it. See, now it's downhill. They drop like awesome downhill. Uphill, not so much. Downhill, they're great. Oops. Well, nobody said it was going to be pretty, did they? They just said it was going to work. And we'll grab this one here, too. If we can pull it off. Big one we're not gonna touch because screw that noise. This 
kind of cutting out this initial patch here. Jeez, I had a chance to play that, uh, what is it called? Uh, I want to say Yukon Gold. No, Gold Rush, that's it. Gold Rush. Not impressed. Not very good. It was kind of, kind of crappy. I like the, the depth that they have to it. Like, I understand the depth thing they're trying to do, but, um, as far as the actual game itself, oh man, the physics are terrible, the, I don't know, it's just a bad time. I'm gonna park this bugger right over here. And we can leave him there. Gotta love that machine. Looks so pretty. I'm gonna get a picture of you because you're pretty. Pretty picture. Yeah, and that's pretty much the end of this video, I think. Yeah, we're coming right about 30 minutes here. So, uh, when I come back in the next video, maybe we'll bring that buncher down here. Glad I didn't sell it. And we'll start cleaning up and making proper piles. Uh, then we can skid them back to this guy, cut them. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do mediums or longs. Uh, right now, those are kind of the shorts, so we'll see what happens. And then we'll just pile them right next to us here and then load them onto a truck and off we go. Then after we've done that for a while and we get bored of that, we can go over to the Yarder project over there. Should be a good time. So I'm just going to save our game because we don't want to forget to do that. And yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.